Vulpin is a heavily poisonous world, being the dumping grounds for toxic waste from all over the universe. Due to its harsh conditions, the inhabitants of this world have been forced to live underground and mutated in order to survive the terrible environmental conditions. One of these inhabitants being the apex predator, the Vulpomancer. Vulpomancers are an animalistic, jagged teeth, dog like alien species that mostly originate from the planet Vulpin, while others can be found in the Null Void. Because their world is almost completely absent of light, Vulpomancers typically live in dark caves underneath the surface of their planet, which causes them to lose their sense of sight over time, thus having zero need to see. But these creatures' lack of eyesight causes them to rely on gill-like nostrils in the sides of their necks to sense their surrounding area. These creatures, depending on where they're from, can come in a variety of colors. While Vulpomancers from Vulpin are known to be an orange color, those that reside in the no void have pelts that range from red, blue, a brownish crimson, and the typical orange. At a young age, Wolfmasters seem to have more quills than fur that blend into the rest of their pelt as they get older. In adulthood, they grow tails, their claws become much more curved, and the males develop stripes, while the female's pelt shifts, becoming pale in comparison. No avoid Wolfmasters, although having a very similar aging process, their lips become chapped and their fangs are more prominent as they develop a lashing worm-like tongue. Although they may look just like plain animals, most of these creatures are very sentient, having a language of their own that is difficult for even the Omnitrix to decipher. They usually eat anything that moves, and although they seem to travel and hunt in packs, it's known that they aren't fond of members of their own kind, who aren't related through family, and will attack them with an intent to kill. These creatures possess enhanced strength, durability, smell, hearing, and speed. Their sharp claws allow them to scale difficult surfaces with ease. They have developed thumbs, causing them to have the dexterity to punch, grab onto objects having ape-like movements. They have quills that can be shot out of from their backs and use their projectiles, and send out an echolocation like sonic wave to stun their enemies or prey. These creatures are weak to sonic pulses, and lose their ability to sense their surroundings if they develop a sickness. Evolved Vulpomancers, unlike their counterparts, are able to speak clearly due to their advanced vocal cords. They lose their stripes and quills while gaining spikes that trail down their backs along with the horn on the tip of their tail. Evolved Vulpomancers are significantly bigger than their predecessors, losing their canine-ish tendencies and adopting more of a leonine-like behavior. But of course, little is known about these beings as they, as only one Evolved Vulpomancer has ever been seen before. I hope you enjoy your trip from Vulpin to the Null Void and learn a thing or two about these fascinating creatures. Remember, stay away from the toxic waste, steer clear of the Null Guardians, and I'll see you when I see you. Thank you all for watching.